So, we're rolling now? So turn two, we flew the uh, Demon Prince up and over. We're going to uh, vector strike this repressor here. The spawn moved up, kind of moved them so I have some options depending on how this vector strike goes as well as shooting. Uh, the plasma plagues moved up so they can get rapid fire on this repressor, a single shot, something else. Again, depending on how other stuff goes. The obliterators also moved up to fire in the gap here. Uh, the Plague Marines with the melta guns moved up so they could get range shot on the repressor here. Uh, cultists are just hanging out as well as the obliterators over there. They're just going to uh, sit tight and, uh, and shoot. That's it. So, shoot. Back to strike. Yes, back to strike. So, D plus one. So, he's getting three. It strikes seven and it hits side. So it's a flat for you. Right? Strike six, I'm sorry, he's not. He's a Heldrake of seven, he's six. So strike six. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. It's a good thing I gave myself options. <laughs> uh, All right, chaos turn two, and the obliterators are going to open up on repressor. They uh, are using multi meltas. And Tony scores two hits. He checks their range for the extra armor penetration and finds the. Uh, they are in range. It's a pretty long piece model, especially with the huge bulldozer. And he'll score two penetrating hits. Easy. Now, uh, Matt will get um, a cover save, which is better than his vulnerable save because the chaos bomb are in the way. So, he'll get a 5 plus save from that, which um, Tony is stating to him. So, he gets one. So, Tony will get the one penetration roll, and it is a 5 plus 2 is 7 easy penetration. And it will only explode one inch, so, not really going to affect too much of the spawn. I'm good. All so right. they're in a nice little rune piece so now that we have. Plasma guns on the, here. the plasma um, gunners from the Plague Marines open up. And no one gets hot. He's at four, so he gets one glance and one penetrating. So you're definitely getting cover from my spawn, too. So, so five and five. So glance. Matt will save the glancing hit, and he'll also save the penetrating hit. So the spawn will uh, help out on that one. <laughs> Get out of the way! Alright, over here. We're going to go two melted guns and to the uh, repressor. And then try to get the... Oh, you need to roll for... Oh, right. Play Marines from there with Plasma. 10 hurdy hurts. Strength 8, armor 13. Nothing. So I have we have nothing. And he doesn't fail to do anything to that repressor with front armor. That's a nice call. And it is the Keldis who are firing away into the sisters that are out. Are they fearless? No. So I have to check their pinning as well. Which isn't going to much matter to me. <laughs> well, maybe. If they pin, I might. They're fine. So, that was a couple there. Cultists that have range are going to shoot, but the only one they can physically see is that one girl. So, that's going to work for me to, looks like, three guys. Sorry, the first shot was the the, 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 uh, the rapid firing. Picking on some girls. Pick 
taking on girls. So the cults were able to pick off one of the models here. And these will be obliterators. And we've already done the last can from the first turn, so he's uh, stuck on using plasma. So he's checking his uh, aim on this. This will scatter. Um, and when it kind of scatters, like five inches, uh, Tony realizes that he has to roll a get hot. So he's going to kind of backtrack through that. And one of them got hot. So he will only be able to fire the one template. Checks the save. And uh, the guy's okay. So no harm there. Tommy Volter, which is twin linked. Score a hit. And wounds. But Matt will save the damage. So that's pretty much all that gets out of the shooting phase. Alright, so the spawn charged into the sister squad, and uh, basically with Matt's terrible rolling, um, I managed to run him down. Um, made him take 11 saves, he failed 4 of them, and then failed the lead test, and the spawn just uh, gave him a sweeping advance and took him out. And uh, they're just hanging out in the crater now. Alright. So Sisters of Battle, movement round two. Um, we had an immolator outflank coming on the far side, uh, coming up behind the obliterators in cover. Uh, so potentially some damage there. We've got some uh, melted weaponry that might do some some pain on the backside of the, uh, the obliterator. Um, Emulator's moving up the hill to kind of threaten anything around it. Um, the Candidus and her uh, bodyguard squad have kind of moved the flank a little bit. Um, the other Candidus and the Celestians get out of their Immolator um, before it moved, and I was trying to get him into cover. I only rolled a two, so they basically just ringed around the back of the, um, the Immolator, but uh, that does put the Heavy Flamer at least in position to get some, a good number of hits. Um, then what I elected to do was uh, some tank shots and ramming, so the emulator jumped forward 11 inches, um, so giving it plus three on its attack, so I actually managed to uh, glance on the rhino here. Um, the rhino did nothing back on the front armor. Um, the uh, the uh, repressor um, rammed forward again, uh, got a plus two from its uh, eight inches of movement um, before it hit, so uh, with its front armor 13, we actually scored a penetrating hit um, and immobilized the rhino there. Uh, so that is the movement of Sisters Round 2. Alright, we're into the Sisters of Battle, turn 2 shooting. Matt is going to uh, start with his cannon, so he's going to do his act of faith. Pretty much making them relentless, then he tried to get it back, failed to get, get the uh, faith point back. And so he has now three remaining. So three multi melters into the Rhino. They're definitely out of the 12-inch um, extra penetration range, but all three of the sisters hit, and only one penetrates. Um, but there's no cover, so he uh, is fortunate for that and gets the plus two. So it's a seven, and much like the repressor, it is destroyed, exploding. And the occupants are out. Um, that tried to shoot the demon prince, but failed to even hit, even if it was on the was uh, gliding. That's not it was zooming. Um, so here he's going to try to uh, shoot the rhino, but because of his um, ramming attack, he is forced to snap fire a lot of this stuff. So the aggressiveness from his vehicle movement is um, kind of deterring some of his better ballistic skills. So, the multi melter though does hit that's inside as an occupant. Uh, it will penetrate. And the damage roll, Matt's a little unfortunate. Get a 3, so plus 2 is 5. 
it's already immobilized, so it goes back down to take out the combi bolter. Um, so it doesn't dislodge uh, from that aspect, and the rhino is still holding on. Tries to uh, get the um, storm bolter into the back arc of the rhino, but that completely whiffs. Trying to see if there's anything else really in there that can open up the occupants, but unfortunately, um, because of the snap firing and uh, the positioning, it's not really a lot he can do from there. So he's going to go for the outflanking Dominion squad. Uh, fires the multi melter and hits, and that wounds the obliterator. This is from the Immolator, so that's saved, the invulnerable save from the uh, Liberators. And now it's to the Dominion Squad themselves. Flamer just reaches one. So Matt will roll that. And then realizing um, as he's waiting for the rest of the weapons that they have their act of faith and Gentleman sport that Tony is it allows them to cast their act of faith, which will allow them to twin link their weapons. And because of the twin linking weapons, um, that way it affects on flamers is it allows the reroll to wound. So uh, Matt just checked that and rolled a six, so he does get the wound from the flamer. And one of the multi melters will hit, and a plasma gun um, gets the two wounds there. It's two invulnerable saves, then bolt guns. So with the act of faith, they'll all hit, but with their toughness, they have Mark Murgle, he's in the high right die, he gets one more, so act of faith uh, helps out. He has him do his armor saves first. It's going to be the black dice. And roll that, and Tony does roll one. So, gets one wound. And now the two invulnerable saves. He needs five plus invulnerable. And does not get uh, any of those. So, one model is dead, and the other one gets a wound. Did a little damage. I'm going to check in realizing that Obliterator is no longer fearless. So here comes the other command squad. So the Flamer is going to um, equip about four of them. But they are Nurgle Smart, so only one wound on the Heavy Flamer. Um, these are the extra mixed weapons. The best. I believe those are actually um, spore hits there. Then the bolt guns. They don't fail to do anything. So he doesn't. What he's stating now is Tony's that one will go through automatically. It's a red dice, no, no roll on that. He has no cover. The other two will be cover saved at 5 plus for the uh, being in the rune. So he's going to roll those. Just the same die, and he gets none of it. So one of the spawn dies. And that's pretty much the Sisters of Battle shooting phase.